Channel 2 has been uh, like a family to me. Uh, last year, my wife had some brain surgery and we had to go to San Diego. It's a two week trip. And um, as stressful as it was, everyone here came together and they helped to pitch in with uh, some of the costs for the trip there. And the support that I've gotten from people here is just overwhelming. I remember as a kid at Elliott Elementary getting to walk over to Channel 2 and it was the biggest thing of the whole year that Karen Keith would host us to sing a song at Christmas time to the viewers on Channel 2. And now as mayor, I'm working with Karen Keith to make our community better, just like Channel 2 has for all these years. Happy anniversary. For decades, you've invited us into your home each day to bring you the news, the stories that impact your life, your family, and your community. And here's a look back at some we'll never forget. This is truly one of the worst disasters that Oklahoma has ever seen, and this is not over yet. We are still watching these terrible pictures come in. It was a moment that shook Oklahoma to its core. April 19, 1995, the Oklahoma City bombing. But you can see the emergency workers waiting just outside the bombed out building. They can hear survivors in there. They can even touch some of the survivors in there. And of course, there are people in there who did not survive. 168 people died. Many more were hurt. On that dark day that left all of us with broken hearts. And so an Oklahoma day that began in sunshine, ends tonight in the rain, God's own tears, perhaps. I'm Jerry Weber in Oklahoma City. May 3rd, 1999, a record-setting tornado outbreak left 46 people dead and thousands homeless, an outbreak that ran from Lawton all the way to green country. Whenever I uh, saw the roof come off the top of the house, I thought I was gone. The hardest hit, Moore, just south of Oklahoma City. A massive EF5 tornado tore through neighborhoods, destroying hundreds of homes and forever reshaping the small city. Fourteen years later, following almost the same path through Moore, another deadly EF5 roared through the area, killing 25 people, including seven school children huddling with their teacher inside the Plaza Towers Elementary. Two thousand and seven saw one of the biggest ice storms in Oklahoma history. In early December, more than thirty six continuous hours of freezing rain coated trees and power lines with up to three inches of ice. Six hundred thousand Oklahoma homes and businesses lost power, including eighty percent of the Tulsa Metro. More than two dozen deaths were associated with the storm. We've covered a lot of wildfires over the years. In 2011, drought conditions fueled flames across the state, burning at least 52,000 acres. It got so bad, then Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon declared a state of emergency. October 2015, tragedy in Stillwater. A car came crashing into a crowd watching the Oklahoma State University homecoming parade. Four people were killed, 46 others injured. So and the driver, Adacia Chambers, now serving decades in prison. And just this spring, historic flooding left much of green country underwater. If, if the water's coming up, you need to be ready to go at a moment's notice. Torrential rain pushed the Arkansas River to its highest level since the flood of 1986. This is unprecedented. I personally didn't think it would be this bad. Flooding washed out many homes and businesses and strained Tulsa's aging levee system. Once again, Oklahomans rose to the occasion. It's been amazing to the turnout, and it's that way all over town. Stepping up to help their neighbors in need. And that's one of the things that we love about Oklahoma, that we really are all neighbors who look after each other. You know, and I saw it firsthand during the flooding this spring. It makes you so proud to be an Oklahoman. The Oklahoma standard, no doubt, it lives on. You know, so much has changed over the years, from our cameras and studios to our news trucks, even our website. It's still ahead. Oh, look back at then and now. The very first tower cam um, was me and uh, another guy on the floor crew, and we carried the giant uh, studio camera up the iron stairs to the roof 
in the rain. It was the flood of 86 and they wanted some shots from up there and they thought, we'll just take a camera up there and, and to leave it. And so we put the rain bonnet on it and shot it off the roof, not up on the tower, but off the roof. And that was the very first tower cam. Happy anniversary, Channel 2, 65 years. What an accomplishment. Uh, I remember as a boy coming to visit my grandparents in Sky Took, watching Channel 2, and uh, you guys have been such a fantastic partner for Oklahoma. Thank you for all you do, and uh, wishing you uh, great success for the next 65 years.